Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Old Roommates. Today on the show, we revisit two iconic music videos from Madonna. So, express yourself. <laughs> or strike a pose, because the show is about to begin. Hey, hey, everyone. It is Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. This is Christina. And this is Brian. And we're talking about Madonna. I mean, we, we revisited one of her videos a long time ago when we were, we sort of talked about Papa Don't Preach in... Who, <laughs> Oh, what? you just said Papa. Papa. Because that was the whole... You said Papa Don't... No, because it was... No, I'm only laughing because that's you. That's the way you said it. <laughs> that's how I speak. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Velma. I know, I know. I know. I heard it. I heard did it. Did you I, hear it when I you were listening? Oh, yeah. Um. So anyway, but what, what do we compare it to? I forget which... Love is a Battlefield. Love is a Battlefield. That's right. And Love is a Battlefield did win its yes. place in the vault in Pop... Papa don't <laughs> preach. <laughs> Papa don't preach. Lost, but but then we sw- we sort of switched gears when we yes. visit music videos now. So we compare artists to themselves, like right. two of the same art, two videos by the same artist. Exactly, With- and we've been wanting to do Madonna for a while. But you know, it's funny. She has so many things out there. It's hard to really pin down two that we were going to um, compare yeah. or contrast. So many, I mean, really, we could have picked. Like a prayer. I mean that we could video. we literally could have picked two videos from different decades for her. Yeah, true. Yeah. Because she's well, and reinvented herself she, so many different times. But also, her videos were always like. I mean, we're going. So we start as we do, going back. Like when mm-hmm. I think about Madonna videos, they were moments. Like MTV would have a commercial mm-hmm. about a Madonna video. Like like their ads, like the little like in between their own videos, they would MTV always had their own little spots. And right. Like, coming up and it's like and that would be like the moment. Or it'd be like eight o'clock my MTV, like Madonna's new video is gonna drop and it's like she there's a black Jesus and like a prayer or she's like <laughs> turning into birds and frozen and like you know, but there's always this like new visual like style mm-hmm. that she's gonna like release on the world and yes. what's she gonna look like what hair color is she gonna have is yeah. she gonna you know how much of her breast is she gonna right. show this time <laughs> yeah. but um but it was always something it was and always even, something. Or, or the biggest one is um jesus uh um justify my love justify which my where love. they would only show at oh certain hours and there was an edited version and unedited then erotica and like the the I, Every she was every always other time. so so edgy, and she, I you know in a lot of ways I think she did it on purpose for you know shock value. She was always good for that, but yeah. she. Uh, but I think she was until I think like the Kabbalah stuff. Her message was own your sexuality, mm-hmm. get your freak on, like be true to yourself, express yourself, whatever. Right. And that was she was always on brand with that, and I think with. You know, when she sort of discovered Kabbalah, and then she went into like this idea of like materialism's bad with Ameri- the American Life album. The but, material like, girl, right? Singer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but all of that, but all of that stuff. She was almost always like on brand. Like if there's, she, I yes, she was doing it to get people talking, mm-hmm. but also the music was good. Like it was right. one thing if she was just like being like, you know, being say trampy in a video, right? If the song sucked. Because then it's like, what am I watching? But it's like, the music, her music was, is good. Yeah. But I do, yes, I totally yeah. agree. She she had good music, she's very successful, mm-hmm. and she was always there. But I do think that she was always looking for the next way to shock. It was mm-hmm. like the next thing. Let's always taking it up a notch. So do you, so are you, do you think that she didn't always believe her? No, I think that okay. she did. And I think yeah. that's why she, she was successful because she did believe in her message. And I believe, I okay. agree that it was very consistent, yeah. but she was always, I mean, if she did the same thing all the time, she wouldn't have been quite as that's successful. Yeah. She yeah. always had to take it up a notch and have people talking and, Oh my God, what's she going to do now? And Oh my God, mm-hmm. she was, that was just who she was in general anyway. But anyway, we went off a little bit. <laughs> So the two videos, we're, um, we're going to discuss Express Yourself mm-hmm. first, and then we're going to talk about Vogue. So um, Express Yourself, 
the, the video is five minutes and two seconds long. Um, 1989, mm -hmm. directed by David Fincher, who also directed Vogue, the video. And he won uh, MTV Awards for both. But both best director, just to set it up here. Sure. David Fincher, as many people know, went on to direct the movie Seven, um, Gone Girl, Social Network, Fight Club. I mean, he yeah. went on to a million other things. But um, express yourself, Christina, 1989. What was your take on Express Yourself? Well, it's, it's funny. So I didn't have a... A huge recollection of this video. I loved the song. The song was great. I didn't have a huge recollection of the video, and I started watching it, and I kind of remember now why I wasn't a big fan of this video. Okay. Uh, I don't think it was one of those videos where I'm like, oh, let me watch it again. I felt like a lot of this video, I think it was the lighting that was bothering me. There's lots of flashes. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things like that. So, I mean, delving into now, I guess, or like, you want to talk about then for you first? Because I don't have oh, a lot oh, of then. Okay. I don't have a lot hmm. of then. Yeah, so this video, I remember really liking it, um, probably discovering a part of myself, like sure. watching all these Yeah, the, just that opening <laughs> shot. I'm like, whoa, okay, this is... Different. Well, also the scene, the, there's that scene though where he, she was chained to the bed. Yes. And then she somehow isn't chained to the bed anymore. He walks in and he has this like weird, like white, like almost like a, like a diaper under his yeah. jeans. But like it's like it's like white. There's like a white towel or something. Maybe it's a right. ripped shirt. But he's walking in the room and like he's broken free of his chains and he's yes. walking up to her and she's naked, holding a sheet up in front of her. And no, I don't even think she's holding a sheet. I think she just has her hands up oh, in really? front. I think so. Oh, but then he oh he grabs the sheet and pulls it up around her. Right, right, right. Yeah, and then he has his hands are all greasy. And he that shot I remember when I watched it. Now I was like, oh my god, I remember what that little moment uh -huh. did to you know a teenage gay Brian. But like, um, but that also I thought it was just super stylish. I thought she. Um, I don't think it's the best she's looked at. Actually, we'll go get to Vogue sure. on that. But I think, um, but I think I liked that she was doing like the Michael Jackson little grabbing the crotch mm -hmm. thing. And I remember being like, I don't know if this is gross or cool, but like I get it, and I like that. That I remember liking that she was doing it, even though I w a little bit this way. There are things when you watch when you're younger where you're like, I I get this, and yet I don't think my mom would appreciate me getting right. this. Or like, I think my, I think a parent would say, this is smut. What are you doing? But yeah. But you sort of had that. Just like, well, you know, it's like, it's a performance. Right. And you know, I it's Madonna. Like to your earlier point, like she's pushing it and you're like, you know what? I can't say it's the, like, you know, the most glamorous you know, behavior, but it's like, I get it and I like it. And I like mm -hmm. that she's like dancing She's dancing like Michael Jackson and all of that stuff. And then she's also doing like the male posturing. I but I remember even though I was, um, oh my God, eighty nine. So I was still in high school. So whatever, sixteen, seventeen, yes. So but I was old enough and with it enough to be like, that's Madonna. Mm -hmm. I'm like great that she's doing this. Right, and you were a big fan of hers. I was, yeah, yeah. The yeah. first cassette. I think I said this before. The first cassette I ever purchased with my own, like, Christmas money was True Blue. Interesting. Yeah. Love yeah. that album. Yeah. Still. <laughs> <laughs> so now, getting to now, Christina. So getting to now, so I will say I watched this video after I watched Vogue, and I think that might have, um, did something. Oh. I, like, I should, I probably should have watched it the other way around. Um, I did, I should have looked at the years and... Oh, I know. I watched. Yeah. I watched Vogue first. Did you watch Vogue yeah. first? I was more looking forward to watching Vogue, to be honest. But mm -hmm. um, so I think after watching Vogue, it looked a little more amateurish to me, and I didn't think it was. It, it, it like a lot of it was fuzzy, um, and I felt like the transitions from one scene to another were like choppy and again like i'm sort of comparing it to vogue mm -hmm. which i didn't feel that way we can talk about that mm -hmm. after 
And I think that that did something to my opinion of the whole video in general. I thought, okay, it's a little bit amateurish. Not amateurish, but mm -hmm. compared to mm -hmm. Vogue, it was amateurish. I thought the the use of lighting was distracting. Okay. And it, it almost bothered me. Like, there were a lot of, like, white flashes, yellow flashes, and it, it distracted me from the actual video itself. Mm -hmm. I will say I did enjoy the dancing. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the message. I thought there was a little too much of the other characters, the other men, mm -hmm. and not enough Madonna. Interesting. This is an that's an interesting note because mm -hmm. when we talk about Vogue, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Well, I guess this podcast is interesting. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically, you know, I have, you know, there was like, just, yeah, I mean, I just feel like it was all over the place, I guess, is really my general feeling of the video after I was finished watching it. Like, it was just all over the place. They were like the silhouette scenes where she was like, you know, the, the shadow of her yeah. dancing. I don't think that was necessary. It was just like this one little part that she did that. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't really have to do with anything else in the video. Yeah. And then, you know, there were the guys walking around and the corporate guys and then, you know, all that sort the of thing. The cat. The cat. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the cat. I, I actually kind of like that. And that was sort of throughout the whole video. So yeah. there was like that thread of the cat. And then aside from the part where she's like actually drinking milk from the, on the floor, like that was kind of... Which she didn't want to do. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And, um, and then she decided to and she she, she said that she's glad she did it because she, she understood it more. She didn't quite get it. It was a conversation she had with I David think, Fincher. I think if it was, if she put that in there without having the cat in there, it would have been way more effective. Yeah. But because the cat was kind of throughout the whole video and yeah. now she's on her four, you know, all <laughs> on fours and drinking out of a thing, it was like, okay, so now she's pretending to be a cat. If the cat wasn't in there, it would be more about the submissive I behavior. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think that it was just like... But I do think it's a cool shot when she pours the milk down her back. Listen, I, I, yes. a lot of this, this my, some of my, my loves of this video are, like, I could say it about an average perfume commercial. Right. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not so specific to, like, Madonna. But I will say, if we're talking about, like, Madonna and, and like, her place and like, say... 1989 like she is like I really started taking notes it's like the monocle the business suit like mm -hmm. she's being like quote unquote a man right. grabbing her crutch and then she shows her bra and then she's dancing she's flexing she's posing and she's chained to a bed then she's the glamour girl and to your point about right. dancing and the silhouette and all that um I, you get like the f I think you really get like the Madonna like the, the Madonna deal. Like, mm -hmm. you get everything she's about. Gender bending and all this kind of stuff. Um, one thing that I noticed, you said the thing about the men. Yeah. And there's not a lot of Madonna. I noticed that she, the light, you mentioned the lighting. Yeah. There are times where you really can't see her face very well. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, they, they douse it in light, like really bright light. Her hair is obscuring, obscures yeah. her face often actually there's shadows on her face a lot the monocle covers some of her face um she has just her flat out her back to the camera a lot was like, she pregnant during this video <laughs> i don't know she didn't look it she didn't look no it. she didn't but it was like so some of the techniques you would think that that would be no because she had the full-on naked yeah. scene so no she probably she was definitely not pregnant or not but unless it was a Body I don't think it was, but yeah. But, but I, I, I would say I really liked it. I mean, the the you know, so obviously it's like based on like Metropolis, the old classic movie. Mm -hmm. But um, I forgot two things. So one something that really brought this back for me, I thought for a very long time that line where she says, um, "Make you feel like queen of the." I always thought she said queen of the prom, but she says queen. <laughs> Well, I was, it was 1989. I was thinking well, you of thinking prom. Proms. I was thinking prom. But, um, but queen on a throne. And I always thought she said queen, queen of the That's prom. That's hilarious. And then the other thing was, I completely forgot. And I was embarrassed to admit this. But like, when, like the whole beginning. Come on, girls. You believe in love? I forgot. That, yeah. 
I, I really that. forgot the intro. And I was like, oh my god, I love that. It's the best part yeah, of the song. it's so good. I love the song. I know, I, I, love, I, the love, the I song. love the song. I love the whole song. I love the whole song. But, um, and I think that that's probably why I was kind of disappointed with the video, even back then. Yeah. So then what would you say? Do you like it? Did you like it like less than you? Because you barely I remembered was, it. Yeah, I really didn't have a huge recollection of it. I, I guess I would probably say I probably liked it about the same. Because nothing about this video is making me want to watch it again. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I can't say sit around watching music videos ever, or you even don't. revisit, it, or even revisiting them. But <laughs> like, I would watch it again, and I really, really think, even though it's a short part of the video, just that moment where she's on top of that that platform and she's doing the bra exposing, yes. the crotch grabbing. I think that's a bigger moment that that doesn't get enough credit mm -hmm. um, in in pop culture. I loved that was my favorite part of the whole mm -hmm. video and that was one of my crit you know criticisms is there's not enough of her like dancing like in, in a madonna video and it's the same with like a paula abdul video yeah there's not enough of her like you expect her to be dancing because and she's an amazing you dancer. love her yeah she's great mm -hmm. it's fascinating to watch she always has unique moves mm -hmm. she's great at it and I just, I'm like, I want more dancing. So when she was up there in the suit and dancing, I loved it. It was my favorite part, but it was just, it was too short for me. I was yeah. like, keep it going. And that was, that, I think that was like the only part she danced in that movie, in that, sorry, in that video. There's a look like, that sashing of her shoulders, like when That's, she's a yeah, yeah, but it's not, not really, not really. Dancing. I can't wait to talk about Vogue. <laughs> 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 so we're going to take a break. Yes. It'll be wait, back. did you oh, say you shit. liked it better? Um, I think I liked it more. You liked it, I, okay. For that very reason, you're, this, it's that same scene, and I know it's a small part of a five-minute video, but um, I really think it's like, and even her chain to the bed, but then, the, but she's the one in power, mm -hmm. and it's like, I think what it says about femininity and gender bending and, mm -hmm. ex and literally expressing yourself, um, it's... It, I really have much, much more respect. I mean, I always thought it was entertaining, sure. but I have much more respect for it as a... a a middle-aged person be like well she really did take chances and she was was truly saying something mm -hmm. about um um about gender so i think it's important interesting and we'll be right back to talk about vogue hey there it's brian and christina we just wanted to take this break to thank you for listening to old roommates the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. Please subscribe to Old Roommates on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. And give us a rating or review while you're there. And if you have any questions, comments, or observations, shoot us an email at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Roommates. Thanks for listening, and now, back to the show. And we're back. We are talking about Madonna and two very iconic videos, Vogue and Express Yourself. We just talked about Express Yourself, and now we're moving on to Vogue. Brian. Yes. What are your initial thoughts of, you, of Vogue back in 1990? So, I don't know what it was. So, I'm going to go towards the song first. Yeah. I don't know what it was with the song. I, I loved the song. Um, possibly even more than Express Yourself as a song. Um, just a fun dance song. And for whatever reason, and I don't know why, that little... I don't know if you call it a rap, but she's like, Greta Garbo, <laughs> and Monroe, Monroe, Dietrich, Dietrich and DiMaggio, yeah. Ron, Brando, <laughs> Jimmy Dean, on the cover of Magazine. Mm -hmm. Like... I learned that, by the way, <laughs> 1990, I was a senior in high school, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's like, is it a rap? I don't even know. But that I part guess, of the song yeah, I, it's rapid. is so catchy. Mm -hmm. I would like to credit myself with like learning it by the third time yeah, I, think, I heard the song, I think right? All, Everyone I think did. Anybody Everyone who's did. listened to that song are like, I want to learn that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the Reynolds and so the Reynolds we rewound rap. it in of the cassette tape, right? Over and over again. Rewound it. Stop, rewind, stop, rewind. <laughs> Write down the lyrics quick. Right, right. <laughs> Do you remember the Reynolds rap, though? That commercial for Reynolds rap? Oh, um, I couldn't recite it. Reynolds rap. I could, but I won't. Go so, ahead. Um, no, no, no. We want to hear it. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
Reynolds um, wrap with wrap. a sheet of Reynolds wrap. <laughs> fold it in a Reynolds flap. First, add meat. Add your spice. Fold it once. <laughs> fold it twice. Bake it <gasps> now at four five zero. Not long. Fifteen minutes or so. Then take a peek, <laughs> and you'll see just how good your meal can be. Because with this sheet of Reynolds wrap, something, 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 something. Um, you'll soon see what you can do with chicken and fish and vegetables. Do it seals in goodness, seals in flavor. So do yourself a little favor. Make cooking better in a snap with a sheet of Reynolds wrap. Oh my, my God, sister, that's so great! My I love Terry that. And I would do. We would just redo commercials. We would like. That's great. Yeah. But that I don't know something about that wrap. Like I hear certain wraps and like that's a challenge. Like, mm-hmm. and I, like, I just, it's like, I want, it's so ridiculous that I want to know it. And, but going back to Well, it to certainly the, isn't predictable. You can't predict what they're <laughs> going to be saying next, right? <laughs> it's pretty good. But, so going into the video back in 1990, um, I have to be honest, I, there's that iconic shot of her where she's wearing this blouse and there's, she's not wearing a bra. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that she frequently did, but like, I think that is like such a a quintessential glamour Madonna shot. I think it's pro uh, for me personally, I think she, at that point, I don't think I'd ever seen her look so beautiful, like truly beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like she's, cause she always sort of raunched her look up a bit at, like before that point mm-hmm. or, or she would like sort of, um, or underdress or like dress too scantily, but like there's well, it was very, very you know, it was very poppy. The way she dressed was always like very poppy. Yeah. So it always had like um it was like a, it was like a, you know, like a I don't want to say I like don't want to say fashion like trendy kind of she always had that sort of trendy kind of look. I to don't want to say what I want to say cuz nothing's wrong there's nothing wrong with being a slut. I'm not slut shaming. <laughs> but I would say she looked like like Cindy Lauper's trendy. Cindy Lauper's slutty sister. Yeah. Like, it's like that, like, I'm trying, I'm not really trying, Trashy. I'm going to wear lace on the yeah. outside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> but the video, I remember the video and just being a little, little bored. Black yeah. and white for a teenager is not a selling point. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but again, I will say that shot of her in the blouse is like just the most beautiful I think she had ever looked. For me, back in 1990, I de- like connecting with that video, that's, oh, and the guy. White guy, the white guy with the black hair. Mm-hmm. From the Truth or Dare movie, um, I mean, he's just so handsome. Yeah, he's very handsome. But how about you? So, um, we may be disagreeing on a few things, I oh. think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, but well, just moving forward, I think we'll maybe disagreeing on a couple of things. So, um, I liked this video. I remember watching this video kind of often, and I think maybe it was the sign of the times, like, you know, watching MTV, they probably played it a lot, but... Something about this video I really, really enjoyed, and I think maybe it was the black and white. I think, and I could be wrong about this, but and and this is a little bit of what you're talking about mm-hmm. anyway. I feel like this was the one of the moments where she turned into more of a diva um, symbol. Okay, do you know what I mean by yep. that? So it, it's like what we we're just saying. Like she's no longer that bubblegum, trashy dressing. <laughs> Whore bag. No, yeah, I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm, you know what I mean, though. She's yeah, not yeah. like that. She's not that young bubblegum girl with yeah. the flowy hair and the boy headbands. toy. Yeah. 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 Now she's moving up, and she's an adult, mm-hmm. and she's looks classy mm-hmm. in this video. And I think maybe the black and white helped that. Yeah. But I think that that was more of the goal of this video. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't remember a lot about what happened before that. Maybe I'm, I'm off, but that's sort of my memory of it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, to, to your point about looking classy, the, the where she's, when she's doing the rap, the, it's all those poses. Those are the... That you, okay. Yes. Yeah. So I, I'll finish the sentence. So basically, yeah, she's recreating those glamour shots of all yes. the people that she's singing about. Yes. yes. Okay. I did, so I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that meeting? right. I yeah. learned that like this morning. Okay. Yeah. So I did, didn't connect. I mean, I knew like that she looked absolutely glamorous, mm-hmm. and um, the close up. Some of the close ups looked familiar, sure. but I didn't know it was intentional. I mean, they're not, was, I mean, they're not super obvious either. No, like, if just, you're not familiar right. with you know Garbo, yeah, whatever, right. Greta Garbo, and all that, you you wouldn't. I don't think, especially if you're you were young, you were in your teens still. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, you may not have been as familiar with that sort of thing. Not Thank that I was you. very familiar. I'm just a little smarter, I guess. So. <laughs> Whatever you need to think to feel secure. Thank you. I will take that. 
Um, so moving on to now, mm-hmm. how did you feel about it this time around? So I'm um, going to be honest. I this is so weird. So obviously, Christina and I never talk about these things before we start right. recording. I feel how you felt now about express yourself. Interesting. Because I was like, "Where's Madonna?" Okay, everyone. They're dusting. They're cleaning. They're tidying. Can they're I ask sitting you in chairs. Which one you watched first? Did you say the this one, already? I watched Vogue first. You did watch Vogue first. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering if so that made a difference. Vogue is four minutes fifty three seconds. Really quick. So it's not even five minutes long. Thirty three seconds is when. Um, my damn it! I didn't even finish my sentence in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> but. 33 seconds in is, um, I think is, uh, she says the first word. Like, so that, and that's like, so half a minute before you even hear, yeah, exactly, thank you. Before you even hear Madonna, I think is a stretch for a music video. Mm -hmm. Also, you're kind of, um, just looking at people sitting in chairs, and some people are dusting, some people are, like I said, cleaning, tidying, um, and... I was just like, okay, where's Madonna? And where, and also the bigger question, where is the voguing? My issue with this is that, and I, so they only vogue, truly vogue Mm -hmm. in during the chorus, that chorus, like, come on, vogue. So is 16 seconds long. Mm -hmm. So you have one chorus, another chorus. So 16 seconds. So now we're at 32 seconds. Then there's a, the big, Finally, I call it the big Madonna moment where she's dancing and like she's dancing really fast and she's voguing and yep. the hands and all that. That goes on for under 40 seconds. So a five minute video, 40 plus 32 is something, a, a number. And so it's like a minute, <laughs> it's a minute and 12 seconds of a five minute video of dancing. And the song is called Vogue and Vogue is dan- a dance. So there are is it dance. though? So what's interesting now, are you thinking, so... I understand where you're coming from. Oh, thank you. But I think you're you're thinking of it in a way... Please tell me how I'm thinking. I will absolutely, if I can word it correctly. I, I think... So when it, was, when it came out, the reason why people are voguing mm-hmm. is because of this video. It wasn't like voguing is dancing, so let's make a video about voguing. You're, I'm sorry, but you're actually wrong. And I, I truly, okay, you are. You are. Here's okay. why, here's why, and I'll show you a book. So there's a <laughs> stuff, no, I really have a book about this. So, okay. um, so there's an underground ballroom culture. Okay. Um, and so if people are familiar with the movie, pa- the documentary Paris is Burning, there is ballroom culture. So it's like, um, a lot of, uh, black, Latino, um, people get together and dance the way they want to dance. But it is a style of, of dance where you are truly posing like a model mm-hmm. in very controlled um, yeah, uh, moves, mm-hmm. and they call it voguing. And Madonna discovered this underground culture and wanted to push it into light, so much so that oh. the actual underground community of ballroom dancers were so excited that they thought they were going to get a little piece of this, say, celebrity. The ballroom culture did blow up, and but they but then it just sort of, as quickly as it came, it, as soon as it rose to prominence, it kind of fell back again. Interesting. But Madonna did um, bring this into the light, but it existed before Madonna made That's so interesting. I had yeah. no idea about that, so I stand corrected. You are right, Brian. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> so, but I guess my point was yeah. moving forward into like that pop culture voguing. Like when you talk about voguing now, we're not thinking about the underground. I mean, the, the general population, I don't think, is thinking about the underground ball. I'm going to assist you in one thing. Okay. Because here's the thing. I will agree that for most people, Vogue by mm-hmm. Madonna is their first right. encounter with voguing. Yes. yes. And that's what I'm okay, thinking. Right. That's so that's why I don't think I noticed it as much, maybe even back then or even now, that there wasn't as much dancing as I would have liked because I wasn't expecting her to be voguing throughout the whole thing. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm. Um, yeah, but even See, the I lyrics, like it just ends the up lyrics being... though, it's like, let your body move to, there, there are so many where they're just but standing isn't it... still. But, wait, but isn't that, vo- isn't that what your definition of voguing was? Striking they're not the posing. Pose. I'm talking like, like there are a lot of scenes where they are sitting in chairs. Yes. Voguing is like, 
But, like, you know, it's... I would think the, the most accurate is, like, when she's doing, like, the face things. And then there's, like... Right. And there's the guys. And the guys are all doing, like, you know, like, they're, like, they're freeze-framing every, like, second. But and isn't and that poses. the opposite of let your body, you know, move with the whatever go? Well, that's well. Madonna's problem. But you were, just, <laughs> you were just using that as part of your argument, so I'm just... Because it doesn't, my problem with this video is it doesn't really work either way. Okay. If you're trying to show us what voguing is, then it needs to be a little bit more of it. If you are going by the lyrics, there's not enough dancing to support the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So, to be honest, here I go. I did not, I like this video less now than I did then. And I didn't even really like it that much back then. I thought it was, like I said, I thought right. it was like... You love the song, but not love the, the song. So I... it's so funny. This is like such an opposite situation. You're so <laughs> right. Because with the other one, it was for Express Yourself, I love the song, mm -hmm. do not like the video. Um, so as far as Vogue, for me, I really liked this video. Okay. I love the black and white. I thought she looked great. The one part I did not enjoy was the the one that you think she looks so beautiful in with the what? and I'll tell you why tell me why because I felt <laughs> <laughs> because I felt like it was a little different than everything else that she was in the whole video there was just like so she's standing there with like this very sheer yes. top yeah and I it, I found it distracting oh my God. I found I thought it she looked really distracting amazing and I felt like it was a little bit more um leaning back to where that boy toy stuff was like a little bit more of that I don't know a little cheap I know I thought she looked beautiful I know this is why I said we're probably gonna <laughs> argue about this and that's fine it, she, I just thought she looked better in the other parts of the video and very different in the other parts of the video with the shorter hair and the the um the makeup is certainly different the clothing is different um, I thought it was funny to see the cones. Like, I kind of forgot about her cones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, yeah the, I and I like the way that was in, inserted. Because yeah. all the guys are opening their jacket, 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 jacket. And suddenly right, it's right. like the cone bra. And then there's the cones. Um, um, I did think it was... I did think it was interesting. And I, I, it didn't bother me the, the, the lead up to the Donna that... How many seconds was it, did you say? It was like 33. 33 seconds. Yeah. That didn't bother me. It didn't feel like 30 seconds. Okay. It... I was sort of, I kind of forgot about what the video was about, so I was kind of excited about, oh, what, what is this happening? What's going on? Yeah. So I was more interested in it. And I did feel like she danced a lot in this move, this this video. Not a lot. Not a lot. I always want more. I do. I yeah, always, always a, want she more. She is a fantastic dancer. Yes. yes. Um, I felt like, I, had, I was giving her props, actually, when mm. I was writing my notes. I'm like, good for her. I felt like she was really trying to feature the other dancers. And I felt like that was very unlike a Madonna move. Mm -hmm. I felt like move, leading up to that, it was all about Madonna, all about Madonna. And watching this video, it seemed as though she was trying to give the other dancers some airtime. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated that about her. I, I liked that she did that. The, yes, I, I could have used a lot more dancing from her for sure. I enjoyed the dancing that she did have. I loved the dance with her and the other guy. Yes. I lo that was like yep. a highlight of the whole favorite. thing. That was my, she would yeah. dance and dance. I'm like, this is so great. Like, yeah. I could watch five minutes of this. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that is, I completely agree with five you. Five minutes, yeah. yes, definitely. But I liked the feel of it. I liked the black and white. I liked, you know, the kind of throwback to all of those um, classic actors and actresses and... So, um, just a little bit of trivia. It remains, so it's just a sign of the times, the best-selling physical single of Madonna's to date. So, it's actual purchases of the single. Um, and it replaced Sinead O'Connor, Nothing Compares to You, when it um, finally hit number one in wow. May 9th, 1990. Because on the chart, so this is crazy. So, back then, a song, Rarely to Never debuted at number one because you had to call and request it on the radio mm -hmm. oh, and right. put yeah. heavy, heavy rotation. No so, <clears throat> right. So it actually took Vogue like, like six weeks to hit number one. And I don't know what that like comparatively speaking, but like you, I forgot that that's how things worked then. Cause you were listening to like Casey Kasem and be like, it moved up three notches to number five. And like, it would take a song a while yeah. to reach number one. It's just so funny now. Cause now it's like, 
Ariana Grande does one little thing and it's number one the you know the first week it comes it's out before it's so it's before it even comes up sometimes <laughs> right <laughs> but it's, uh, but Vogue the song was number one in thirty countries um, and yeah and I really do love uh, that song yeah so. So we have to vote now. Well, did you? So I already said. said oh, the sorry, thing. Do you like it more, less, or both? I think I liked it more. Okay. I think I liked it slightly more. I did like it let back then. So yeah. you know, it's not like I disliked it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, really quick. The part where I thought she was entering back into the boy toy thing of vo in Vogue was when she, um, it's just her face. It looks like she has like, like. Like leaves mm -hmm. coming up her chest. Just Is it when they were doing like her makeup up? or something? Like it seemed like they were doing her makeup. No, so that's different. So that's when like she's has the towel around her head. This scene is like her hair is all kind of like wiry and like curly. It's just it's like it's the camera is like at her. Basically, it's like above her breasts. Okay. In her face, but there's like some sort of like like leaves or something or like hmm. like some sort of plant life that's sort of like trying to <laughs> and it's just her face and she's it's very very close up yeah and that's where i was like this feels like you're, you're supposed to think that she's naked or close to it mm -hmm. and that's where i was like i could have done without this little this little insert yeah. you know i but, don't even remember it so it didn't even yeah. leave any impact on me at all all right so we have remove to, it so we have to <laughs> <laughs> so we have to pick um our, our what, what, what goes is, in the vault? What goes in our vault? Our imaginary time capsule vault. So this would speak to that Madonna era. Because we'll probably visit other Madonna videos. So it's the Madonna it's era so of like the um, nine, the early nineties, late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, eighty nine, ninety. She did showed a lot of stuff then. Yeah. Um, I I think we're gonna disagree, and this is unfortunate. I don't know. If oh, we're really? gonna disagree. Okay. Right. I don't know if we're gonna disagree. Because this is something that we need to put in the vault, and this is going to be something that's going to represent Madonna. Remember, people aren't going to know who Madonna was, and yeah. this is going to be something that's going to represent Madonna. Okay, that's right. So then I hope you agree with me. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm, maybe I'm hoping you agree with me. Are we writing it down? Let's write it down. All right. Did you see I have a new, new notebook? Do, do, My two pages are not falling out of nice. my book anymore. It's, Can I tell you something? So, notebooks are expensive. Why are notebooks expensive, Christina? I don't know. People, you know, people need to get a grip. We should. We should it's like, God forbid, I want a notebook with a hard cover. Maybe we here's, should. Here's um, eleven dollars. Get some some old roommates swag oh, and have gosh. like a notebook. Super cute. So they can make notes while they're listening to us. All right, here we go. Hold on, I have not even. Oh, sorry. Okay, ready. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> Yay, express yourself. Express yourself. And I know that you're probably surprised that I'm voting that way, but I will say, just because I don't particularly like this video, I do think it's a better representation of who Madonna is. So, oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, I'm, I'm putting my like, you know, or my dislike of it aside for the greater... Good. Oh. So I hope I you appreciate all appreciate that. that. I do think it's a great synopsis of who Madonna is as an artist and as a woman. Yes. And I think, um, and I do think it's actually even, I really, I, I, I really mean that. I think it's, I really do think it's even more powerful now. It, mm -hmm. When you understand this is 1989. Yes. Um, and she was really like, you know, sort of like. I think it's what we said, like criticized, dismissed as like a boy toy yep. pop artist, but she was really saying something. But anyway, um, express yourself. And also I do want to say, watch, um, everybody, if you're looking for a documentary, watch Paris is, Paris is Burning. I believe it's available on Netflix. And there's also a TV show called Pose, um, uh, Ryan Murphy show that is about, um, ballroom culture that we talked about. So, yeah, that sounds great. I need yeah, to check, check out. that out myself. Very good stuff. I might stuff. steal your book off your shelf. Oh yeah, and I have that. I'll Before I go. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for listening. And I guess like, that's it for this. And that is it for us and for this episode of Old Roommates. 
Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to Old Roommates on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and wherever you listen to podcasts. And give us a rating or review while you're there, please. If you have an idea for the show or a suggestion or comment, you can email us at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Roommates. This is Christina. And this is Brian. Thanks again for listening. Until next time.